Hey y'all, today's video is going to be a little bit um, sombering. It's just going to be me talking. Um, I just watched a video. I don't know if y'all follow me on uh, Facebook, but um, Refuge Church in Enterprise, Alabama, their pastor talked about, um, you gave it all up for what? Um, Wednesday night, and I watched that video over and over and over in the last, you know, few minutes, probably 20, 30 minutes. And that's honestly the question I want to ask my friends and family that aren't believers in Jesus Christ or that are in our thinking of giving it all up because something is more appealing right now because, you know, you think uh, you've hit rock bottom and the only way out is just to do what the devil wants you to, is to give up church and give up praying, give up reading the Bible and just to do things that you want to do on Sundays, do things that you want to do on Wednesday nights and do things that you want to do on Thursday night prayer meetings. Um, instead of going to church, reading your Bible, praying and seeking after God and staying with God on this journey, um, you're not alone um, through this at all. And I just want to tell somebody out there just to hold on, to not let go, that God is still here. Life can be rough at times. And I am explaining this to you after a day like yesterday. Yesterday, I just, sorry, that was my phone. Um, I just was in the car yesterday afternoon trying to get that video up this morning uh, well, I was trying to get it up yesterday, and I still couldn't get it together. Everything was coming against me. I felt like Addie was just, um, you know, pushing my buttons more than usual, and Gracie was overly tired and more clingy than usual, and the video wasn't downloading fast enough, and once it did download, it didn't sound good enough for me, or there was stuff in the background that just made it hard for me to understand what the video was going to be about. And I just got frustrated. I said, I caught up Lane and I told him, I said, I got to go. I got to get out of this house. I just got to get out of here and clear my head and pray. And that's what I did. I left me and the girls. We left the house. We went and got us some lunch yesterday and I started driving around and I said, and I poured it all out to God. I said, God, I can't do this anymore. Um, like I had been going through some mental struggles. For the past few years. And whether it's postpartum. Or if it's just me trying my best to stay focused on God. And the devil's trying to throw everything he can at me to distract me from that. Whatever it was or whatever it is, um, I'm going to push through this. I'm going to move through this and I'm going to get stronger with God, whether the devil likes that or not. And there's no job. There is no person. There is nothing in this world that... There's nothing in this world that is going to make me change my mind. Yes, I will struggle. Yes, I will fall. But I will keep getting up with God's help. I will keep staying strong and reading His Word, even though I don't comprehend it very well. I've never been a person that could comprehend things very well. And the Hebrew writing is just hard for me, but I'm going to continue to do it. Because there's nothing that's going to make me turn around. I have come too far. I have fought too many battles for the, to let the devil just win. It's not going to happen. 
um, this life is not going to be easy because of that, because I'm not going to give up. And I'm encouraging all those that are struggling right now. See, because my two-year-old knows that I'm doing this. She knows that I'm trying to work and she knows that I'm trying to get this out and she is pushing my button. So I'll pay attention to her, which is a two-year-old thing. I get that. But with my mind and my postpartum and my, you know, mommy life and hormones and chemical well imbalance, all kinds of craziness going on, it drives me nuts. But I'm going to stay strong. I'm going to stay strong. You can stay strong. You're going to make it. You stay in your faith. You read your Bible. You pray every day. God is going to help you through this. No matter what that battle is, no matter what the devil is throwing at you, you stay strong. If you need a prayer partner, I will be your prayer partner. If you need somebody just to sit there and listen to you vent, I will be that person because we are going to make it through this. By the grace of God, we are going to make it through this, and we are going to be okay. The devil is a liar. There is nothing you've done unless you have blasphemed the Holy Ghost. There is nothing you have done that he that God will not forgive you of. You can make this. You ask him, dear God, please help me. I need you now more than ever in my life to take me by the hand and to help me through this problem. Help me through this storm in my life, whether it's your personal walk with him, whether it's a financial storm that you're going through, whether it's a job switch over, whether it's a divorce, uh, you know, kid battles where you have to, you know, deal with them. one person, you know, one kid going to one person, parent. No matter what the devil's throwing at you, you stay strong. You believe in God. You tell him, you tell that devil, you don't own me. I am God's and he is with me. He is holding my hand and I'm going to make it through this in Jesus name. Amen.